Okay, so I'm going to try to finish this last part of this journal, lap book junk journal, using Sherry Baldi's digital junk journal designs. Now, um, I've also used some of the Stamperia music sheets, and I'm going to be using some of this to be able to cover um, this part of my album, the spines because I didn't have anything bigger on the um, the collection and it tied it all in plus the colors went really well with it so I've cut um, two sheets that are one and a half by eight and three quarters um, two sheets and I used uh, two of her digital designs and these are five and a half by eight and three quarters, two of them. And I kind of kept going and sizing it in until I got to where I wanted. Um, same thing on this one. I just took off each end until I got where I wanted to be. So I started here and then I turned it around, cut over here, and just kept working my way in until I got the desired look that I wanted. Then this one is for the inside is four and a half by eight and three quarters, and then one piece that is one by eight and three quarters. So we're going to start with this inside piece, which is the four and a half by eight and three quarters. Again, this is from the Stamperia collection, and I think I think it went really well with this collection. Yeah, it goes up that way. And I'm going to be adding some um, trims, so that's probably why you see a little bit of it. Opening there. Get my glue ready. Now, because I do have that little incident with the binder cloth and this, that's score tape I'm going to make sure I put even some in here And I've learned that if you cover your um, fabri tac which is what I'm using, um, immediately after usage, you're not going to have that much of the uh, seepage or that um, gooiness. All right, so let's burn some. I'm just going to use my brayer. You want to make sure you get it really good. Now, you, another thing you could use um, is Tyrex for your spine. I didn't have any Tyrex. Um, I don't suggest you get the ones from the post office mailing either, um, just because the post office looks out for that kind of stuff. Um, so I just use this book binding cloth okay so we got that part now I'm going to do this one here and for that I have this one here from the Sherry Body collection is she beautiful and I've already distressed my edges on my um, cutouts now this one again is five and a half by eight and three quarters she is adorable
kidding. She's adorable. She's praying, guys. She's praying. Look, and she, and she adorable. So I'm burnishing that in really, really good. Oops. Then we're going to do the one and a half inch by eight and three quarters on there. And again, I'm going to be covering, so you're not going to see too much of that cloth because I have lace that's going to go there. Now for the closure, I'm doing something really simple because I found one of my favorite um, trims that I used to use, fabrics that I made bows before. So I wanted to use that because I thought, oh my gosh, I used that so much before to make bows. And I loved it so much. And the fact that I still had some laying around after all my massive de-stash from last year. I thought we need to use that. I am putting some pressure on this because I want to make sure it burnishes in really good. I'll run my nails around there too. Okay, so then we're going to take the one inch and we're going to go over here. And right here, I am going to put some. Um, straight on because I don't want that to lift. I know that I'm putting some ribbon and trim there, so I'm not so concerned about that. I'm more concerned of making sure it gets in and it goes in right. I tend to use my nails to go around the edges. There's a burnishing. See, those colors look so great with that collection from Sherry's collection. So I think that worked out really, really good. Now, we're going to put her right here because I thought she was adorable right there again five and a half by eight and three quarters And you can probably smooth out your glue with your finger or brush. I don't like to touch too much glue. I don't like the mess in my hands. And my hands are already yucky as it is from all the inks. So I don't do that, guys. Not, at least not too often. I think she's so adorable. They are such adorable. She did really good in those images. Snap that off. That's from the cloth. Okay. 
Those are adorable. Aren't they? Oh, isn't she just so cute? She's just so cute, and it goes so well with this Stamperia collection. Believe it or not, it does. Okay, so then we're going to use again the one and a half by eight and three quarters. And I'm just going to go right into that elastic because I don't want that to move too much. And also because I want my paper. To be able to attach to it as well. Again, I'm putting some pressure on here because I want to be able to smooth that in really good, especially since there is an elastic there that can keep it from doing what it needs to do. Okay. Last one is this one in the back. Again, five and a half by eight and three quarters. And this is from the stamp period collection, as you can see. I think it went really well with um, Sherry's journal. Right direction. I would hate to glue it down to realize that I glued it on wrong, but I've done that before, so. Hmm. Again, you can always use your little um, rubber doohickey to remove some of the gummy adhesives that seeps out. Try to get those edges really good, varnished down really good. So that's what we have as of right now. And she darling, she is just so adorable. So, so adorable. And she went really good. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go with these laces here. And I have a couple that's laying here. But this is a Hobby Lobby trim. You guys know I like my Hobby Lobby trim. And I thought it would look so cute right around there. And then if I kind of either did this one or this one, I'm not sure which one. We're going to see. I don't know, I like that. And I have this one, so let's see what this looks like. Yeah, that one's too much for me. 
<laughs> Sorry. Not my cup of tea. All right, so we're going to go with putting this one down. Hopefully I have enough for all of it. We're going to put this one down, and then we're going to put this one down. So let's first start with this one. And I'm leaving some to overlap. So I'm going to use this little seam here to go right snugged into that seam there. I think it'll, yeah, that's good. The only thing I hate when they, they have these little trims and then you go, there we go. That's better. Okay, so we're going to use this seam to go right into that seam. And I'm going to use my handy dandy hot glue. Yeah, let's use that seam as a little guidance. The book doesn't want to cooperate. Stand up, stand up, book, stand up. Okay. I'm trim this here. Then with my Fabri Tech, I want to go in Do the same thing over here, but before I do that, I want to tuck this one in. Kind of takes away from her wings, so we don't want to take a wing. So, so we're just going to tuck in just up to butt it up against there. I think that'll work. Again, I'm going to use my hot glue. It's quicker. Yep, that's it. That is it. All right, so now we're going to go in with the battery tack. Oh, that looks like I get to mail this this week. So excited. Hope she likes it. Long overdue. But she knows I'm busy. She knows I'm busy. All right. So I'm gonna get those down. So we have that going on in the spine. Isn't that beautiful? Good selection there. That was very good selection. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side and we'll be back. Okay. So we have this side done, this side, the inside, and this side. So we have them all done. And I'm just going to trim just a little bit there, here and there, where. There might be some overhanging. Okay, so what I thought to do for in 
here was to take this little rosette one. I thought it would be cute right there. So I ended up using the rosette after all. And this is like a mesh rosette, so I don't want too much seepage. Of the um, Fabri Tech. So I'm going to be really careful with this. And I could probably use, to be quicker, my hot glue, but I just go right into town with this Fabri Tech. Okay. Like using my brayer because I don't like the glue got book gooey stuff on my hands. So we're gonna taper those down just a bit. Okay, then we're gonna do the same thing on this side, and I've already cut my trench for that one. Gonna go right into a little bit into the mesh, not too much so that it doesn't show as bad. Yeah, so what I could use is my spatula so I'm not getting my hands dirty because that is one thing you guys know I don't like. That's a silicone spatula. Alright, next one. And this is a, another little Hobby Lobby rosette trim. And I actually got this in the clearance section. So, there's on clearance. So, that's even better. So that is that for the album there. And I'll show you what I had in mind as far as trim or closure. I used to use this little mesh to make uh, beautiful funky bows. So we're going to use this to tie around. But I first have to let my fabric tag completely dry up. Otherwise, I'm going to have my pages stick to each other and I don't want that so we're gonna let that dry and we'll be back okay so here is the closure that I have selected again this is um, a piece of mesh fabric that I would cut up into strips um, and make pretty bows with them and I found it in my stuff cleaning up and I thought oh my gosh that survived okay so 
we are just going to use it for the closure because I thought it's so totally it. And it's also easy to slip on and slip off. You don't have to make the bow all the time. Do it on the side. So you can just slip it on and slip it off very easily. So what I mean by slipping it on and slipping it off, you can just slide this off. See? And put it back on. Makes it makes life so much easier. Okay, so I do need to tighten that up. You do need to tighten it up. So we're gonna tighten it up. Every time I loosen it up that way. Okay. Okay. So that is my cute little closure for it. And then I thought I had this little prima flower here and some of these little stamens and flowers. You want to go around and make sure you pick up any blue messes. So I'm going to add these in. cover her up too much because I think she's adorable as she is as is. Did I drop a leaf? I must have dropped the leaf. Go figures. I'm always dropping something. Now we have another one here. I'm sure I'll fight it here in a bit after I glue this one down, right? That's how it always is. So if I go there. And then I got these little other fabric ones that I can tuck in here. here and there and several little spots. First I'm going to glue this one down because I know I want this here. I really don't want to take too much away from her, so. And I have also these, and I think these will look cute as well. Can go, I can't even do that. Let's see, the pack had these other little ones. So maybe I can tuck one, make it fuller like that. Oh yeah, I like that look. Oh, I like that better. 
I like that better than tucking in the little white ones. Yeah, I like that. Different. Okay. Makes this one a little bit fuller, the centerpiece just a bit fuller. I think it's a big old. these and tuck it in there. way we have the corner completely covered. Now we're going to tuck one down here instead of through there. Okay. Yeah, I like it like that. Okay, I like it like that. I like it like that. I like it like that. Okay, do we want to tuck any of these in here? I'm fine with that. I'm cool with that. I'm just okay with that. So that is that. Didn't do a whole lot on the cover, as you can see, because I didn't want to take away from her, because um, I thought she was just as pretty as can be, just as is. Um, anything else would take away from her. And I thought, you know, why ruin her? So that is what I've gotten together for this uh, junk journal using Sherry Baldy's digital junk journal. Um, so make sure you check out her website. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Until next time, ladies, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Hey, I'm back. I decided to add these little flowers. Um, they're embroidered that I got from Miss Judy Dominguez. Um, tucked in here on the side I think it needed something and I wasn't sure wh what and so I saw these and I thought those would look really cute if I just kind of tucked them under there almost like in a ruffled form to fill that in and give it some, a nice little color pop as well so I like that I also found this little cute crown that I had uh, given to me by Shoddy um, and so we're going to add that as well to the top. Again, like I said, I didn't put too much, so I don't take away from her too much. But enough just to give it a little bit of life. I thought that was perfect. And then we can probably add these little flowers that I said I wasn't going to add, but I thought after a while, you know what, those give it a color pop. So I like the idea of doing that. Maybe every other one. And then just kind of randomly put them in. I'll probably have to go and get more. Then I do. Okay, this time is for real. This is the last time. And um, you will see this other than when the person receives it. So this is what I did. I added some little flowers on the side. I added the embroidered flower that I got from Miss Judy. I added the crown. I wanted to enclose her more. And I want to show you. Turn it this way. So I put this trim up here just to give it a little bit more enclosure. And so that, that way I could add that trim without any difficulty. And um, there's how she looks. And then I added more of the little flowers on the side there just to 
uh, bring that out more. So that is what I did there. And like I said, you can slip this off just like that. And then in the inside, you have all your beautiful stuff. And I didn't add any here because it would probably interrupt there over here. So there it is. There's the album, the lap book, junk journal. And this is going to be shipped out to someone very special. Anyway, I hope you guys truly enjoyed this. I'm um, sorry for any of the little bumps that we may have had. Um, see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.